As I've said on many occasions, no country, no country can thrive and no economy can grow in a state of anarchy and lawlessness. When I travel across South Africa, it truly breaks my heart to hear countless stories of rape and murder, children captured by drug addiction, and communities living in constant fear. Today marked halfway mark of the 16th day of activism against gender-based violence. But other than paying leave service to fighting GBV, our unpatriotic government has left women to live in fear. We must change this. Action SA's policy on law and order will restore the rule of law by ensuring that we prioritize community policing over VIP protection. We will reform South African police services and restore pride in the badge, ensuring that the police can once again be trusted and that criminals no, wrong, no longer run communities with impunity. We will amend bail, parole, and sentencing guidelines for serious crimes such as rape, murder, and drug trafficking. Under XNSA government, life sentence will mean life sentence. When people enter our prisons, they will contribute to society by helping to work the land. We will declare corruption as public enemy number one, reintroduce the scorpions, establish specialized courts to deal with corruption, and create a culture of ethical excellence within the public service. And we will end the practice of cater deployment, which enables corruption, and insist on merit-based appointments and strict consequence management. South Africa has, must have a professional public service that puts citizens above politics. Yeah. Lastly, we will take action to secure our borders. Yeah. Action SA, Action SA has always said that we want the people of the world to come to our country 